how to change a parameter inside uh, Admin Engine's materials. Um, we will use this uh, color example. Agni. <laughs> uh, bad example. <laughs> we will uh, make the color change uh, just from a cursor uh, on the on a widget in the interface. It's pretty easy and kind of fun. Let's go! So here is our victim, the table. We will need to turn in turn it into a blueprint. So blueprint, select it, blueprint, and uh, convert selected actor to blueprint class. Open the, the material. It was an instance, so here is the true one. Um, inside it, as you can see, we have parameters, so it's just vector, uh, vectors, um, so we will make them change. To do so, open the blueprint you just created, created, sorry. <laughs> um, inside it, you will need to, to create a begin and a construction script. Uh, the construction script is very important. You need to to create an ins a dynamic material instance. Dyna dynamic the material instance uh, allows you to to modify the, the the parameters on the go. Create a blueprint class and make a game mode blueprint class. Very important, it's here. This game mode allows you to to create some um, general functions for gameplay. Inside it we need to, to have a reference to the to our um, table. We just create the, the blueprints we created. It's here. See? So we need to to go inside this and tell it to to give its uh, reference to the game mode. So we cast game mode to uh, the one we created. Sorry, and. Uh, tell uh, the, the value is self. So, when color change will be called, it will change the parameter name color top and give it these values. This guy. Color change is just a custom uh, event. You just right click and uh, say uh, n custom event. That's it. So, uh, we need to create a widget for the user interface where we will put our Cursors. I just created here um, three three uh, s sliders. Basically, they will uh, they will call this when value is changed. So open the blue uh, the level blueprint. Inside the level blueprint, I call uh, I create the widget. I mean, you don't need to use the level blueprint. You can put it uh, pretty much anywhere in your character, uh, in your character or anything. You don't care. You just need to to make sure the the uh, the owner is the right one. But here it will work for for, for testing purposes. It's okay. Just memorize it. If you want to call it again later, say the variable, then add to the viewport, then uh, you can uh, 
you see i i did some other things just just for uh, to, to make uh, the scene uh, nice but you don't really care <laughs> it's just uh, it was just for me for fun <laughs> So, so you, there are many small options here. You can see, you can change uh, uh, the cursors, uh, the buttons, uh, etc. Have fun tweaking things. <laughs> See, I I just use three columns to make it more convenient. What we want to do now is to use on value changed events. So click. Oh, um. No, so it's here, but I um, have to show you something else. We need the game mode to call it. Uh, you use events construct or pre constructed to work too. Call add the, the game mode, cast it, and memorize it so you don't have to cast it every time. See promote variable if you if you're lazy like me. <laughs> uh, don't forget to initialize all the values. Uh, okay, I could have put these values inside the, the sliders uh, themselves, but it's more visual for me. <laughs> That's all. Don't forget to. Also, uh, initialize the values inside game mode. So, you bring game mode here, control uh, and drag and drop, or just drag and drop and get. Um, you set the three values from uh, the game mode. So, you see, it's. Uh, um, you can double click to to add some points you see to make it more r to make it easier to read on value change you need to to tell the game mode to change only one value that's why we initialize the others then call the event so first set red then color change so you set the value change the, uh, the color every time you see up and again, red, green, blue. You can do the same for any kind of parameters. So here is a small scene I created for <laughs> testing purpose. As you can see, every time you change the value, up night it will be easier to see. Up. So it can be very convenient when you wanna 
you you don't know exactly the, the color of things you're hesitating you just make a you just use it and use this kind of symbol trick adjust or just for fun in a game after all it can, could prove useful I hope it helps you and uh, if you have any co question put them in the comment down below on, on my or on my website uh, c h e z j a u dot studio chez de point studio <laughs> see you next time ciao ciao salut